Get up in the morning, same thing for breakfast. No, 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 don't go like that. <laughs> Big get up in the morning, slaving for bread, sir. So that every mouth can be fed. Ooh, me is a light, sir. Ding, 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 ding. Cut, cut. All right, I won't go into that. Greetings, one and all. I'm crying already. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Ah, uh, ah, uh, you gotta laugh. You gotta wake up with a smile, man. Give thanks, man. Greetings, one and all. This is Lloyd Brown. Welcome, social media family, to. It's not a vlog, but I just feel that I need to present a video to you with what's in my heart right about now simple as that the third season will start very very soon it's going to start with a bunch of interviews so stay tuned for that coming soon but i felt the need to um um empty the contents of my heart to you right about now to some of you um because the majority of people that will be watching this video it's not even really going to even apply to them because the love I get from these people, it just goes without saying that I'm thankful, I'm grateful, and I'm honoured to receive what I've received from the majority. But this is going out to the minority. And it's not from a negative standpoint that I'm saying what I'm going to say. But before I even get to the crux of the video, I want to state this. Today is Friday the 3rd of November and it is the release date of my third produced album, which is entitled Travelling Hopefully by Shade Aman. It is out today and it's released via Jetstar Music and Phoenix Music International. Um, I produced the album and it is not a reggae album per se. I have to state that it's not a flat out reggae album. It's a new soul, ballad, bluesy, reggae album, right? And it features an awesome songwriter, musician, Shad, Shade Aman. And um, she's based in Crete. She's based in the island, in the island of Crete. And um, wonderful, wonderful human being. Wonderful human being. Great musician. Great vocalist to work with. And um, like I said, her album is released today. So if you support what I do within my repertoire, I think you're going to be really happy to check out her repertoire as well as knowing what i've done with um lynn's album her album called debut so i've produced two debut albums for my fellow vocalists so please check that out available via download and streaming services not out on um cd or vinyl just strictly digital for the time being anyway but um what i wanted to put across is it's important to me and I need people to know this from a standpoint of passion it's not anger it's not a rant but it's passion and it's the passion for the music that I have that I continue to have which serves as the foundation for me argument <laughs> okay it has been an emotional time for me in terms of the making of my vocalist album, the release of my vocalist album, and the reception of my vocalist album. It's been an emotional time for me in more ways than one. And I don't think people kind of understand my process, I can't speak for anyone else, but I don't think some people understand my process in terms of 
the subject matter of the songs I write, the feelings in my heart when I write the songs, getting it out into the songs, performing the songs, mixing the songs, and then listening to the songs, not only once I've done it, but once it's released and having people give me their feedback. It's emotional. It's absolutely emotional. It's one of the most emotional albums I've made in a long time. If you can hear some buzzing, um, it's workmen outside laying down some tar and pavement and stuff like that. So forgive, forgive their intrusion on the video. But um, yeah, it's emotional for me. So once that has been expelled from me, as it were, I'm drained. I'm, I'm absolutely drained. But I'm relieved and I give thanks that the works is out there for everyone to receive. Now, having said that, I need to make one thing abundantly clear to anyone and everyone in this business, right? A percentage of people already know this, but there's a percentage who needs to know this. I am not here to compete with anyone. I don't compete. If someone chooses to want to compete with me, that's them. I cannot control that. But I enter into this vocation, as it were, because I know that I've been blessed with a talent that is to serve. And one of the most wonderful things that I can receive from the works that I do is when people say to me, Lloyd, I've just come across your music and I want to thank you for your music. Or Mr. Brown, I just want to say thank you for this particular song. It got me out of a very difficult situation and I just want to say thank you for lifting me out of that. When you take something like music and it has those powers, the word, the sound and the power collectively finding its course and finding its rightful people within that course. I don't need to compete with anybody. I don't need to compete. If I hear a tune from a fellow artist and it's a good tune, I rate the tune. Yes, there can be a bit of professional jealousy saying, oh, wow, why couldn't I have written a song like that? One song, for example, John McLean's If I Give My Heart To You. Wonderfully crafted song. But I'm not going to bad mind John McLean because he basically wrote the song and he had a number one with the song. Why would I bad mind that? He's representing what I'm doing, what the whole of the UK is doing. See, so... I don't compete. I don't compete. I never felt the need to compete. I've had situations where people thought I was competing with them. And I'm going to tell you this story. And it's the God's honest truth. A producer friend of mine came to my studio many years ago to co-produce a song of mine for one of my albums. And he got a phone call from an artist and this artist is well known internationally known he's a huge artist worldwide right and i remember they were having a conversation and he mentioned to the artist that oh i'm in the studio with lloyd brown producing something and i said oh is that such and such? He said, yeah, yeah. I said, oh, can I, can I hail him up? So I got on the phone. I said, hey, Bridgin, that's why I hail you up. He said, well, go on, big man. I said, yeah, Medea, Medea. You know, just trying to aspire to, to the eyes level, man. You know, 
that's trying to aspire to the eyes level. And he said to me, no chance, no chance. Pass me back the phone, please. And this is someone who I rated right up there, right up there. And from he said those words to me, it made me realize what I'm amongst, the business that I'm in. But it never swayed from the fact that I was still blessed with my talent and I had no intention of wasting it. In fact, my intention was to expand with the talent. And that's all you can do if you love the music. If you are in the music, is to expand your talent and grow with your talent. It's not gonna be easy. And with artists of my generation, we've gone through like three eras of reggae music. The new artists are basically growing up in a totally technological, communicative, digital age. And that is just normal to them. That is their blackboard and chalk. Whereas with us now, we're going through different eras in the music. And if you've made a name across one of those eras, you just have to sustain it, keep your name up there by doing something, being consistent, persistent, because it beats resistance. And that's what I've learned just to keep doing what I'm doing, expand on my talent, and as a result, work and pass on my talents to people who I regard as talented enough. If I was someone who was competitive, I wouldn't even be working with Lynn or Sade or Anyone else for that matter. Do you know what I mean? So to suggest or to even think that I'm competing with any artist in the United Kingdom under the banner of reggae music is a fallacy. And I don't want no one to get it twisted. You know what I mean? When I work on my music, I do it to a point where I neglect myself to give the people what I have, I neglect myself to some devastating consequences, but people don't see that. But when I have a new album coming out, that's when certain people come out the woodwork and say, yo, like, wah, wah, re, 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 re. I don't hear nothing from them when I'm going through my crapola in my, in my life. Do you know what I'm saying? But it's just part and parcel of what it is, I guess, you know. But for me personally, I'm not here to compete with nobody but if you want to compete with me that's down that's down to you do you know what i'm saying but i wouldn't be working with people who i admire and respect not only from the reggae fraternity but from the r b fraternity as well a wide gannet of artists plethora of artists that i admire and respect and, and and, and is honored to work with. Why would I be in a competitive frame of mind to do so? The objective for me is for me to reach out to their fans because of my love and my respect for those artists. And for people who, who are fans of the collaborators that I work with, getting to know my music. I can't expect people to know my music from my first album right through till now. People get to know your music at different stages of their musical awareness. So I've already not so much resigned myself, but concurred in the fact that, you know, people are gonna know your music at different times. But one thing's not gonna change is that the music will always be there. That's why with shows, yes, I do shows to show my appreciation and my love and my thanks for the people that, is, that has embraced my music. 
But I'm not here to tour the world and don't have nothing to basically show for it. Tours can come and go, but the catalogue stays forever. Why try and compete with me when you've been in the business for 30 years and you don't even put out an album yet? Makes no sense. But if you want me to work with you, I'll work with you. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. But anyway, the ticker is going and I just wanted to say that and get that off my chest. And in closing, today is the release of Sade Aman's brand new debut album, Travelling Hopefully, released via Jetstar and Phoenix Music International. Please support that. Support her. Support her. I'm not competing with her. Support her. As much as I support her. So with that, I'm going to bid you guys adieu for now. And as always, you don't know the coup. Abstain from foolishness wherever possible. And until I catch you on the next one, please. Stay blessed, Magan.